Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with his real estate entrepreneur, Omar Afara. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good, Michael. What's up, everybody? Uh, so Omar, we just uh, we just need to put it out there. Uh, I've yeah. said this. I've said this on my daily financial news, some kind of personal one-on-one -on -one discussions. But I think we are in for six months of pain in the real estate market. I want to describe the pain. That. Yeah, I want to talk about what I see coming, and then more importantly, recognize and pounce on opportunity, because where there is pain, there is opportunity. So pain. Uh, as a real estate entrepreneur for you really is going to come in two forms. One is you have a list, you know, realtors, you're a broker, um, you know, listing and sale agreements are probably yeah. already down for the year. I think as the 30 year rate goes to 7%, it's going to get smaller. So you're going to be operating on less and less transactions. It would not shock me if by March your business is down 50%, that part of the Ooh. business. That part of the business. Okay. Just again, I, I would love to be wrong, but I'm just telling you what I feel. You know, you are the best of the best. You know, you may be, that's like a blended average for the high desert. It would not shock me if transactions are down 50%. That's hey, one. That's, that's, that's fucking crazy. Two, you are a real estate entrepreneur. You have Airbnbs, you do flips, you do all of these things. I believe and I think we talked about this in the last couple of weeks, the flipping business, uh, you have to plan for an extra 90 days of hold time. Right. You, have, yeah. you have to plan for FHA buyers, which means you have that 90 day rule. You yeah. have to plan for pickier buyers. You have to plan for 3% credit at closing. You have, you just have to plan for more expenses. Yep. So you have to buy better. I know you are hearing me. I know you are changing. But a lot of your peers in the high desert, in California, across the country are being stupid. They're not buying better. The next six months, as the 30-year mortgage rate exceeds seven, in my opinion or my guess, think about the affordability. It's going to crash to record lows. So you just have to realize, I would tell every flippers to do less projects the next six. I'm not telling you to stop. I'm not telling you to disband your team. If you used to do 10 a month, do three a month until March. We have to know where we are in March. In March, we have may, we may have rates over seven. We might have unemployment at 5%. We may be in a nasty recession. This war in Ukraine may be going on. Oil might be over 100 bucks. Food, we it may be ugly. So I want everybody to prepare for six months of pain. What do you think about that? How do you react? What kind of questions jump out at you? What do you got? Yeah. This six months, the first thing that comes to mind is, um, do you got, do you have enough reserves to withstand six months? Um, you know, I ask myself that question every day. <laughs> like, and I look, I, I, I look <laughs> at my finances and I look at the, the account and it's like, okay, where are we at? If, if it's X per month, you know, do we have six months, eight months, a year, if we had zero income, where are we at? Like they, these are the conversations you need to have uh, for yourself. If you're in this business as an investor, um, the next thing is if 50% of transactions are down and you're in that 80% group or 85% group, maybe even the 90% group, because 10% obviously have that reserve, then you got to adjust for it earlier uh, in a previous, in our previous um, topic, we talked about like, okay, well, if you're a realtor professional, if you're out there with the license uh, for the ones that I'm talking to, um, then go represent some more buyers or sellers because you have to be able to, to, to bridge the gap of the expense that you will be incurring um, with 50% uh, lower transactions because that goes, that's going to affect you too. Because when we say 50% less transactions, that means there's going to be less buyers buying your flips. That means it's going to be less people showing your houses because even with the agents that are out there. So what do you got to do? You got to like figure out a way to bridge the gap just to keep things moving forward. Mm -hmm. um, buying better. What we talked about just now is you have to be like, I don't want to say this in a mat in a bad way, but you got to literally insult the seller if you're going to want to buy a property. Yeah. Okay. You've got to be cheap. You've got to be cheap. You got to be. You cheap. have to, because guess what? 
at the end of the day, they hold the asset. You don't, you don't need to buy it. You don't need to buy it. I have two deals now that I just sent out a text yesterday. And I said, we need to rediscuss terms because otherwise I'm canceling. And they owe nothing on the property. So guess what? They're still going to make a big chunk. And I am going to ask for a $30,000 reduction. Not because I bought it wrong, because the market's slipping. Exactly. And I'm seeing what it's going to be in four months when my exit is in four months exactly. or three months. So you have to be, a, you know, you got to be ahead of that game. Um, and the less projects, spot on, 100% spot on. Like, I'm a, I'm, I'm a deal junkie. Okay. Mm. I will say that online. I love deals. I love figuring them out. I love taking a listing for a hundred thousand dollars and making a fourth or three or $4,000 check. But then I also like doing the big deals that I make 50, 60, 80 K um, in profit. So it's, I'm a deal junkie. So at the same time, I'm checking myself and letting, and you know, Hey, where am I at? Okay. I'm selling this one, this one, this one. I'm not buying anything. I'm going to keep everything away because I need to see this adjustment. You think before it was, um, it was something you needed to adjust. It's now you need to adjust. Yeah. So spot on on all those all those points, uh, Michael. It's a little scary, you know. It does punch you in the face, but this is the reality of it right now. Yeah, Brian Lebo, uh, the guy, uh, amazing broker in uh, Vegas. In Vegas. Uh, yeah. He he's been through. So I mean, Vegas is talk about hot and cold. It's 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 kind of like you know the high desert on steroids, right? Um, yep. He he talked about something. I think it was two months ago. Called he calls it mole. It stands for months of life. Months of life. I like this. Wait, what I, what I would tell okay. every real estate agent, broker, flipper, wholesaler, if you're in the game of real estate and that's your income, you must calculate your months of life. Look at your reserves today. Look at your expenses today and see how long you can survive. Brian Lebo did this uh, at the peak of the last environment. And Brian Lebo was living the good life three different cars, this, that, the other, just living it up. And he saw what was coming. He reduced his headcount brokerage. He, he got rid of every toy and Vegas went through three or four years of pain. And it was because he appreciated the month of life. He survived and frankly thrived. So what I want to tell people about this next six months is we all will experience the pain together. Some of us will get crushed and leave the business. Some of us will prepare, learn, invest, thrive, and come out stronger. Again, the six months of pain will hit everyone. 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 Uh, you can either get ready early and get through it or not. Uh, the last thing I would tell investors is kind of what you said, get greedy. Like If you happen to be in a market where Open Door is, Write offers that are, are insulting. Now, don't write them on first day listings. Let's not be stupid. Like 60 days, 75 days on market, write insulting offers. What? I'm telling you. Insulting, right? Get a, get a counter. If you write an offer today and it gets accepted by the seller, you paid too much. <laughs> I, I say that all the time. I was like, get the counter. Get them to say, will you do this? Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. And again, get closing costs, buy downs, all of those things. This is going to happen. Six months of pain. The pain will end, I hope, on March 15th, which will be the launch of the spring selling season. From September 15th is when I announced phase two of the housing crash. It is going to get to March 15th. In March 15th, I have no idea. Will it go lower? Will it go higher? I don't know. Where's the economy? Where's unemployment? Where are rates? Too far away. Let's just survive the next six months so we can survive after that. What do you think? If we survive this next win, I shouldn't say if. Sorry, sorry. Win. March 5th, win. March 15th, you know, that puts us there at the end of the first quarter um, of 2023. And I guess that's going to dictate a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I think we got to withstand your uh, this winter. And this, and I think the winter is fourth and first quarter. Oh, great. Um, and w which is the six months of pain. And this is just something you, you got to bear down. Um, I'm going to give some advice to everybody that's out there now. Like, you know, what got you to where you're at now? Cool. 
be happy that you're there, but you got to probably do three times the work to get what you just got the last six months, the last nine months. Um, you got to do three times the amount of work to probably make the same amount of income. Why? Because you got to probably have to do more and be a little bit more conservative. And I like the fact that, um, that Brian, he, uh, this month of living, he got rid of his toys and everything else probably before the, uh, the oh, adjustment yeah. or yeah, during. No, he saw it coming. He, it was still at the peak, right? A lot of people, a lot of people don't realize what's happening. You as a real estate agent have all the data right in front of you. You just have to look. So yeah, right. month, months of life, um, saved it. And again, whack, I, I, you know, I actually saw a first post on Facebook the other day. Cause I I've been talking about get rid of your toys. Somebody said, look, somebody's getting rid of their toys. They're selling like some big fancy ATV or off-road vehicle. I'm like, yeah, dude, it's coming. It's coming. Uh, yesterday, full transparency, I texted my lady and I'm like, hey, I'm selling the boat. I'm selling both boats. Um, I can withstand the mortgage payment or yeah. whatever it is, right? Least my my rental is covered. But at the same time, don't need how it. much capital do I have tied up in a, in a non-performing asset? Or a, li a fucking liability. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? It sits in a damn garage. So get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let me get another 280000 300 k back in my bank account exactly. that I can take that 300 k and go produce another, well, even if it was 10 or 20%. For you, the three hundred grand might be, I'm just making this up as I go, that three hundred grand might be your six months of life. That way it didn't, it's like, honey, I'm going to take that three hundred k. I'm going to put it in that separate bank account. We're going to be fine no matter what. Now I'm going to go run my business on everything else and not worry about. Hundred percent done. You know that, or obviously what we do, we push all that three hundred k back in the mix and try to make three hundred k more to double it, yeah. and then go back off, and then go buy the liabilities that I sold for you know seventy five percent off. Because this is the thing. It correlates with the housing industry. Exactly. All the toys correlate with the housing industry. Sell your toys early. Yeah. If there's a 30% decrease in, in, in the housing industry, right? You think there's going to be a 30% increase in, in, in boats and recreational toys? No, it's going to be a 50% increase. Dude, real estate decrease. agents like toys. The last two years have been amazing and easy money. We've said it many, many times. There are lots of toys coming. There is a lot of toys coming yeah. and, and you guys can buy my toys. No problem. Somebody wants to buy them. Go for it. <laughs> you're, you're happy. It's, it's on Facebook marketplace and everything else. So yeah, there you're you, good. There you go. Well, do me a favor. I love the transparency. Love the honesty. Love this conversation about six months of pain. I know you're going to survive and thrive. Uh, we will be talking about it every. It's not going to be fun just because you know, you're going to survive doesn't mean it's fun. Um, but uh, yeah, it's March 15th. It's only six months away. So we'll, we'll get there. Where can people find you? Guys, follow me at Invest with Omar. Invest some of your time, and and I'm helping you guys with some more knowledge in real estate. So come follow me. There you go, buddy. Thanks.